Hello everyone, welcome back. So last week when I worked on these 3DSs, I thought that 32 gigs was going to be plenty of space, but as it turns out, 32 gigs was actually not even close to nearly enough space for all my backups. So I ended up going to Walmart and I found a SD card there for the thing $29. It was 128 gigs, which I was ecstatic because I had only had 32 gigs at the time. So I went ahead and bought the 128 gig card and, uh, and then I got home and put it in the 3DS and realized <clears throat> that the 3DS didn't recognize that card. So if you're looking at the screen here, just trying to show, uh, this is the card that I bought and uh, I'll take it out of the little adapter thing to show that it's 128 gigs. You see it's a SanDisk Ultra Plus SD XC. Uh, and you can see here in the video that it's all it's all working now, but uh, it was a little bit of a pain to get this working because again, the uh, 3DS only recognizes the FAT32 file system. And, uh, and this particular card uh, had a little Android robot on the back of it and it didn't work in Windows. I, plugged it into Windows and uh, it would, you know, it would appear, but it uses a file system called EXFAT instead of FAT32, which FAT32 is what it has to be to work with the 3DS. So uh, today, really quickly, I'm just going to give you a tip and show you how you can get a high capacity SD card, like 128 gig or a 256 gig, or potentially up to two terabytes uh, of space here and, and, and you know a right off the shelf cheap SD card and how you can get that working with your system. So this is the actual card that I bought. You can see here 128 gigs, uh, supposedly 80 megabytes per second, uh, SD XC, uh, class 10, which is really what you want, the lowest kind of the speed that you want for 3D SD cards. Um, so yeah, you plug it in, card appears. Now in this case, you can see this is an eight gigabyte card. So this card doesn't have that problem. But when you plug it in, uh, the 128 gigabyte card and you go to try to format it, uh, what it does here is it will be set to EXFAT. And uh, when you hit the drop down here, FAT32 will not be an option. It will just say NTFS and EXFAT. So, what you've got to do here is you've got to use a tool called FAT32 Format, and the link for that is in the description below. But when you uh, just try to run that tool, and so you see here I issued the command FAT32 Format.exe to the F drive, uh, it throws an error here, and it says, uh, you know, get last error equals 32. The process cannot access the file because it's being used by another process. So every tool that I tried through the exact same error. So what it turns out that you have to do here is if you go into the Windows Formatter, so you right click the drive and select format, change the format from EXFAT to NTFS, okay? And click start, take a couple seconds, it'll format it to NTFS. And then when it's in NTFS, go back to the terminal and reissue that FAT32 format command again, and this time you'll see it'll ask you if you want to erase the disk you select yes and when you do that then it'll work and everything will go through it'll format properly and then that volume will act like any other sd card that you would plug in and now you've got full access to the space from what i understand you can go up to two terabytes uh in this way now i don't know that the 3ds will be very responsive at that sort of volume level uh, but I don't know. I've got a 128 gig card in there and it works great. I mean, I, I have no issues whatsoever. So anyway, just wanted to share that tip with you. We'll talk to you guys later.